Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have the brand new collection from Madam Glam. This is called Glamorous Paradise. Stunning collection. I am so excited to swatch these for you guys. Um, this is going to be such a great collection for transitioning into fall and that back to school stuff. Everybody wants the darker shades, the more dusty tones. And these are going to be great for that. They look like they're going to be really pretty fall colors, but they're not super, super dark yet. So like I said, a great like to transition into fall. I, I, I think this collection is beautiful. I'm so excited to swatch it and do the comparisons for you like I always do. So I'm going to do two coats if they need it or not. I'm just going to go ahead and do two coats and then top coat off camera. And before I get started, let's just um, show you the nails. I'm so excited. So it is still currently Shark Week. So I had to do some really cool Shark Week nails. So I did, you know, a shark coming out of the water a little vintage surfboard and I actually took my e-file and I like ground out a little bit of the surfboard so it looked like a bite was like a chunk was out of it. I just love these so much. And then we have like a blue marble with the shark silhouettes. Very cool. And then this says live every week like it's shark week and it's got like a little shark down there. I love them. I did not film them. <laughs> I just kind of did them last minute. Um, and I just sat down and I was playing. It's mostly stamps, nothing too, too special, but I love them. This hand is not done at all, but that's okay. This is just the Luminary Drive, um, just a gel overlay. That's it. So, yeah, that's what's on my nails. So, without further ado, let's get so watching. Wondering how to make a play all night Flipping your way from out of sight Thinking I should ask if you're doing alright You weren't easy, so hard to ignore Pull up on your right, ask what you're drinking, ask what you like Said you look good in the dim bar light So damn cheesy, who'd have thought you'd fall for somebody like me? When you ask my name, I panic, so what am I leaving? But it was so magnetic Before I knew it, we talked And I think about you a cocktail You told me that you'd been waiting for Somebody like me So pretty is what they said to me Yeah, that's what they said to me Well, they told me I didn't stand a chance, yeah Things value you, had you at a glance, yeah But nobody ever asked if you could dance, yeah Well, the only one who did that was Somebody like me When you asked my name, I panicked So what am I leaving? And your body was so magnetic Before I knew it, we talked and Bought you a cocktail You told me that you'd been waiting For somebody, somebody like me Somebody like me
Okay, y'all, that is all of the color swatch. These are gonna be so pretty matte, but of course I put a shiny top coat on them, but I think all of these colors would be absolutely gorgeous matte. So let's do the comparisons. Get the bottles out of my way here. Um, right off the bat, some of these reminded me of some stuff. So I don't know, let's start with the lightest and go this way. Let's just do coconut first. So coconut kind of reminds me of, is it Toto? something like that it's like an ivory kind of cottony color so let's see oops I'm trying to keep my light in a good spot okay here's old town and grazie mille all of those let's just pull these out these are like the ivory off-white kind of situation so there's old town the loop a little bit closer to that it's kind of got like a, almost a little bit of a yellow tone to it. There's Cottontail. It's definitely darker than that. Here's Millennium. That's a little bit closer. Actually, it's a lot a bit closer. So it's just a smidge darker and a smidge more yellow tone than Millennium. There's Grazie Mille. Doesn't really compare to that. Um, there's some more I'm thinking of I got to find. Yeah, eggnog latte. It's definitely darker than that. And there's little Toto. So, yep, a lot closer to Millennium than anything on this one. Real quick, wanted to grab the Friends collection or the Friends and Family collection and compare it to Smelly Cat. Um, definitely darker than Smelly Cat. Yep, nothing in there. Okay. So moving on from that one, let's do Hi, Biscus. The names on these are so cute. So Hi, Biscus. Such a pretty, like, dusty, um, rosy tone. This reminded me right off the bat of Back to Cali and possibly um, You're So Vain. So we're definitely going to check those out. And it's way more pink than it is neutral. So let's see here. We'll just go ahead and start here. So we have Cupid, um, all natural. Here's baby pink. It's, it looks like it's got more of a mauvey, purpley almost tone to it compared to baby pink. Flawless, rosy nude. Angel of mine, shimmer all over. Some of those are really, really old guys. You probably can't find those on the site. Here is bubble gum very close to bubble gum oh wow maybe just a teeny bit lighter than bubble gum i'd say if you have bubble gum you're not going to need this one and where is there's some more of the peachier tones like under my skin summer coming it's not quite that tone so move this one out of the way and grab. Oh yeah, here is also the School of Glam collection. I really need to move these off of this swatch ring and put it with the other ones. Kind of put like the greens with the greens, the blues with the blues, and so on and so forth. There's old school compared to hibiscus. Here is nice instrument. Definitely darker purplier. And here is cat's pajamas. So not as close as I thought that might be. I'm still looking for um, You're So Vain and Back to Cali, which I think they're on my mauve ring. <laughs> this is what uh, my friend calls the old lady ring, <laughs> which I love these colors. Yes, my older clients do tend to reach for them, but you know. It's okay. It's all good. Vintage pink. Gosh, I love vintage pink, but it's much, much, much darker. Here's back to Cali. So back to Cali, pretty close. Uh, back to Cali's a bit darker. Um, here is You're So Vain. That's also a bit darker. Not much, but a bit. And Pillow Talk is a lot darker. VIP. Um, all the way up. Um, still a little bit darker. Stylishly fashionable, do, 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 none of those. 
Here is Scream. My Heart Goes Boom. Um, that is one of the... Uh, here's It Girl. I gotta think for a second there. I've got two of these. One of them's not labeled because they have the same name. Think Pink. <laughs> this is one of the Think Pink colors. I don't know which one, but not as close. Bubble Gum is probably the closest to this one. So if you have Bubble Gum in your collection, that's kind of the tone this is, and I don't think you would need both. Okay, what should we do next? Oh, let's do the yellow. Sun Days. This is gorgeous. Kind of reminds me right off the bat of Fries Before Guys. I don't know if it's going to be close or not, but it's almost a mustardy yellow. Now, like looking through my camera, it's definitely looking darker than it is in real life. It's more, it's more subtle in real life, a little bit lighter. So let's grab the yellows. I've been using a ton of these kind of shades lately. So here's Honey Mustard. A must-have for fall for sure and it's definitely darker than Sundays here is I need a latte that's fairly close I need a latte is a bit more muted a bit butterier I don't know how to explain it a bit more brown but just slightly so not a hundred percent but fairly close and these are all turning up a bit brighter in my camera than they are in real life. Here's Candy Muncher. That one's got that bit of sparkle to it. Fries Before Guys. That's the one I was thinking of. Now, it's definitely not as close as I thought to Fries Before Guys. It's a lot lighter. Here is Mimosa. That one's a bit of a brighter toned yellow. Here's Lemon Drop. Uh, more of the pastel-y color. Here is Bon Bon Yellow. Um, I don't remember how to pronounce that one. <laughs> uh, neon Yellow, nope, nope, nope. These are all really super bright. So let's see. Probably closest to I Need a Latte, but still a little different. Very pretty. Um, I will say this too, if you guys are on the fence about a color that's close to another color and you're like, oh, which one should I get? I personally prefer the newer formulas on the Madame Glams. Now they've changed it a bit um, since they've been doing their gels. And the newer formulas are way more creamy, way more opaque, and a bit thinner. They're not as thick as they used to be. So they apply much nicer and they cure a little better. You still always want to do very thin coats and two coats is better than one. Just go really, really super thin and do take the time to do that second coat. You're going to get a better coverage and you're going to get a better cure. So, but I do like the newer formulas better. So if you were like, well, this one looks very similar to this one, kind of go with the newer one. That's just my personal opinion on that. Okay, so let's do these like orangey ones next. Glam Volcano and Sun, Sun Stalker. Very cool. So these remind me of maybe Scarecrow and possibly like bang bang something in that range so let's find those babies okay so here we have corny trick-or-treat bang bang spice cider very unique spooky spooky pants cowardy lion fifth avenue all of those good yummy yummy colors now here's a good example of putting something on way too thick because that is all bubbled up. It did not cure properly, so don't do that. Okay, let's do Glam Volcano first. There is Corny. It's definitely not the same. This is like that cognac brown kind of um, color. It's very interesting, kind of caramely. Spooky Pants, uh, nope, not quite the same. Here's Scarecrow, this is the one I was thinking of, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So it is super similar to Scarecrow. It's maybe just a little bit more on the orange side, but ever so slightly. I kind of like it a little better than Scarecrow. Scarecrow is a little bit more brown, I would say. But again, I don't think you would have to have both of these in your collection. They are fairly similar. There is Toffee Break, um, also fairly similar, but a little bit lighter, a little bit more caramely than Glam Volcano. A little bit this one's a little bit more brown 
So that's what those look like. Here's French roast, definitely more orange. And here is the more orangey tone one. So let's go ahead and grab Sunstalker and look at these more orangey tones. So corny, trick or treat, bang bang so it's not as close as i thought it was going to be to like trick-or-treat and bang bang it's actually much lighter i love this color spiced cider also love that one very unique i don't believe that's available anymore but um hey madam glam if you want to bring this one back no one's going to complain this color was so cool so stunning it's like a copper penny with like flex like little glittery flex in it like so pretty spooky pants so mm, sunstalker kind of close to spooky pants a little bit more orange not as brown there's french roast again a little bit more on the orange side scarecrow toffee break here's fifth avenue i love fifth avenue must have and here is cowardly lion now it's fairly close to cowardly lion but cowardly lion has that um, micro shimmer in it and this one is a cream so I think that's it on the oranges yes all right moving right along let's jump into the blues so we have two blues in this collection we have Aloha and Mahalo so let's check out all the blues let's do the lighter one first Aloha I'm obsessed with this color this is such a beautiful dusty blue Oh, I love it. Um, let's see. So here we have Pure Cloud, probably one of my lightest blues that I have. Very pretty. Here's Russian Blue. Now this is such a popular blue color. And that's the one I thought it was going to be more like. And it's really not as close as I thought it was going to be. So I love Russian Blue. If you guys can get that one, you really need that in your collection. Here is Besame. Definitely brighter, more turquoise. And then you have Birthday at the Plaza. That was one from the newer collection last month's launch. Here we have Fresh Water, a very nice blue. Fresh Me Up. Here is Vitamin C. Aqua Blue. This is Lagoon. Kansas Sky, one of my favorites. It's definitely not showing up on camera as beautiful as it is in real life. Oh, I love that one. New York Blue, again from the newer collection from last month's launch. Maddie from the 13 Going on 30 collection. NSFW, which is not suitable for work from the Office Collection. Another stunning blue, a must-have. I love this one. I reach for it all the time. Here is Take Me to Mykonos. Mykonos. Oh, gosh, do I love this blue as well. Mm, 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 mm. So pretty. Here's Blue Monday, another great kind of fall tone blue. Oh, I think that was the Chicago Collection. So pretty. I don't think it was called Chicago. That was the destination. <laughs> I can't remember the name of that collection. Navy blue, beautiful blue. Here's vintage blue, also a stunner. And here's maize. I'm not sure if that one's still available anymore. This one has like a slight green tone to it. This is really pretty for fall. Um, highly recommend maize if they still have that available. Here's Deep Sea Dream. Mm -mm -mm. Again, that has a slight bit of green to it. Doesn't show up on camera very well. Better than a sapphire. Here are the like glittery shimmery ones. It's definitely not gonna compare to any of these. Behind the scenes and Florida Vibes and Glittery Midnight. Both very pretty, never show up quite accurate on camera. Stunning, must see in person type of shades. Okay, so we did not find any dupe for this at all. It's actually more unique than I thought it was gonna be. So pretty, love, love, love this one. All right, here we go again through the blues. <laughs> Mahalo. So let's see. Pure Cloud will go just a smidge faster since we've already seen all these colors. Russian blue, 
Besame, Birthday at the Plaza, Fresh Water, Fresh Me Up, Vitamin C, Aqua Blue, Lagoon, Kansas Sky, New York Blue, Maddie, NSFW, oh, I dropped it. Um, take Me to Mykonos. Here is Blue Monday. It's probably closest to Blue Monday so far, um, but it's definitely lighter and a little bit more dusty toned. Navy Blue, Vintage Blue, Maze, and Deep Sea Dream, and then there's the Sparkles. So another pretty unique one. Um, let me grab real quick the one that I tend to forget about because I need to move these swatches with the blues with the blues and whatnot. Here is Groupie compared to both of these. So, you know, it's a little bit dustier, a little bit not as blue as Groupie. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna move this and put it on my blue ring. Definitely gonna do that. Okay. Last, but certainly not least, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I know I don't have a shade that's gonna compare to this. This is Keep Palm. So cute, like Keep Palm, but Palm, because it's green, you know, adorable. Play on words there. Um, let's go ahead and grab the green that's on here. Your joke, not even close. And my green wheel. This is such a cool, how do you even describe this like jungle green color very interesting so I'm just gonna go through all of my greens real quick and yeah so here is mysterious it's like an olive green it's definitely much more yellow toned than that down on earth very um, similar to mysterious this one's hard to grab a hold of because there's so many on here. That's an ugly duckling color. That's not even a Madame Glam. <laughs> Winter teal. Um, birthday boy. Caribbean sea. Love that one. Night shift. Oh, God, that's a gorgeous color. Cold lips. Again, gorgeous color. Here is cloudless. I kind of feel like this should be on the blue wheel, but I don't know somewhere in between. Honeydew. Okay, maybe I can grab it now since I've got some of them out of the way. On my way, it's like that turquoise kind of color. Lime mint, um, spring fever, boat trip, oh happy day, foggy night, wicked witch, Blair Waldorf. I just did a set with this Blair Waldorf and it turned out beautiful. It's got polka dots on it, it's so cute. Go to my Instagram if you wanna see all my nail sets. It's at Ginger Sparks. Definitely go check that out. Would super appreciate a follow over there. All of my nail art using all of these gorgeous Madame Glam colors is posted there daily. Okay, love to Fiesta. Camouflage, very cool color. Um, Mother Nature. Amazon dream, oh, Amazonian dream, sorry, say that correctly. Uh, neon green, neon lime green. Green highlighter, early bird, rooftop party, basil, grassy sassy, the big apple. See now this one I thought would be closer because it's like that chartreuse kind of green and it's not. Um, here is apple bite. Jenna, Lonely Boy, um, what is that one? Lost in the Woods, my swatch stick is backwards. <laughs> and here is Heart Attack, probably the very darkest green I have, it looks almost black on the nail. California Love and Glittery Emerald, a must have, for sure, you need this one. Um, nothing looks like this one. This is Keep Palm, it's super unique. Um, it's a very cool color for fall, and I think I'm gonna have a lot of girls that are going to absolutely love this, and I think this matte would be stunning. In fact, I'm going to matte it real quick because I just know how cool this is gonna be matte. So I got my Madame Glam Velvet Matte. We're gonna pop that in the light. I'm gonna clean all these swatch sticks out of our way, and I will show this to you. 
All right, there it is, matte. Seriously, so gorgeous. And you can see that it's got like a yellow undertone to it. Oh my gosh, can't you just see this as a background and then have different colors of green over top of it as like palm leaves and like banana leaves and stuff and very tropical looking. I think that would look really cool. Also think Halloween nails. This would be a great green for Halloween. It's like almost like that mossy, gross kind of really cool zombie green like i just think there's so many ways to use this color this collection is going to be fun i can think of summer nails i can think of fall nails to do with this possibly even christmas nails so yeah it could be a really cool funky plaid color i like it i like it a lot and i love it matte look at how cool very cool like i said before all of these colors would look really good matte it's just got that tone to it so love this collection, found a few dupes, found a few similar, and found a few that are absolutely unique and I don't have anything like it. So I really appreciate Madam Glam sending this collection to me so I can swatch it for all of you and help you out in your color choosing selection. If you guys are gonna pick any of these up, you are welcome to use my code. I will pop that up here on the screen. Um, and you can save 30%, but I always recommend signing up for the VIP program because it will save you 50%. And anytime you wanna pick up a gel, or two or three um, shipping is free so even if you just need a single top coat you can grab that and throw it in your cart and get it sent so to you yeah that is it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did i would super appreciate a thumbs up and you can hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free i do these every month and if anybody is looking for a specific comparison to a color that i may not have shown just message me on instagram i will pop them side by side take a picture and send it to you if i have them um a lot of times i do sometimes i don't but but I just try to be as helpful as I can. So you guys are welcome to message me there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. When you ask my name, I got it. So what am I leaving? And your body was so magnetic before I knew it.